Let's take a look at how to combine the if and VLOOKUP formulas to pull in some needed data. I want to see training completion data for employees, but I also want to account for job roles where the training isn't required. In the top left green section, you see I have a training reporting template, and I want to track the training completion data of employees based on their job role code. The table for the training required is in the bottom left blue section. If the employee role code is A, then the training isn't required. The training is required for job role codes B and C. In the top right purple section, I have a basic training reporting example, and I want to pull in the employee training status, but I want the Excel formula to ignore the training requirement for job role code A. So I know not to worry about tracking for those employees, and Excel should tell me the training isn't required. However, I do want Excel to pull in the training completion status for job role codes B and C. We can accomplish this using the if and v lookup functions in Excel. So to pull in the training status, we'll start with the if formula. Double click to enter that in. Now Excel is asking for the logical test. And for this, we will use v lookup. The lookup value we're going to start with is the job role code. So I'll click cell C3 to input that in. Enter a comma, and next up is the table array. For this, we'll highlight the entire training requirements table, and we'll click F4 over that to make that an absolute reference. The column index number will be 2, because that's the column that shows whether or not the training is required. One final comma, then we will input false for an exact match. Before wrapping up this logical test, let's make sure that we are pulling in a true value or the value of true if the training is required. So we'll enter an equals and then yes in quotations so that we input that as the final logical test. Now after entering another comma, Excel is asking us for the value of true. For this, we are going to use VLOOKUP a second time because I want to pull in the training status from the report example. The lookup value for the report example will be employee ID because that exists both in my template and in the report. So I'll click cell B3 for that. After entering a comma, next up is the table array. So I'll enter in the table array for the employee ID and training status. Column index number is two. And then again, false for an exact match. Now that our value of true is gonna be pulled in, another comma. Now Excel is asking for the value if false. And for this, remember, if the training is not required, I want Excel to tell me that. So in quotation marks, I will put not required. One final close parentheses, then click enter. You can see Excel was able to tell me that for John Smith with a job role code of A, looking at our training requirement table, that training is not required. And so Excel let me know that here in this cell. If I double click to carry the formula down, you can see the same thing for Kathy with the job role code of A. But for Jaden, Lisa, and Eric with job role codes B and C, the training is required. For those employees, it is pulling in the training status from our report example. To summarize, Excel is using the IF formula to match the job role code to the training requirements. And if the training is required, then it will move on to using VLOOKUP to pull in the status of that training. If the training is not required, it will return a result of not required to let me know. I hope this example helps you understand how powerful the if and VLOOKUP functions can be and also when they are used together. Please like and subscribe and let me know in the comments what additional tips you would like to see.